Hi everybody, this is Symphonic Elk and I am coming at you with my 33rd comic book haul. But like always, before we start the haul, we do the trivia. So, last week the trivia question was, who is credited with creating Batman that is not named Bob Kane? So, as everyone who submitted an answer got correct, the name is Bill Finger. So we had two comic books as prizes, Black Panther number one, the J. Scott Campbell cover, and Old Man Hawkeye number one, a second print. So, we had, I believe, 12 entries? Let me double check. We had 14 entries. And they are Alex the Comic Quarter, Alpha 83 Comics, Alern, Comic Slad, Seawitter 19, Daz the Key Chaser, Iron Fist Monkey, Jim Bowers, Rated Raw, Rogue 121, S Lovely, Sean Richards, Tim the Canadian Comic Hunter, and Tennessee Fish Daddy. So let's play. And let's see who the winner is going to be. The winner is Alfred83 Comics. All right, congratulations, Alfred83. Uh, go ahead and send me your address to elk.prizes at gmail.com, uh, even if I already have it. And I will ship these books out to you sometime before the end of the summer. All right, let's move on to this week's trivia question so this week's trivia question is horror related friday the 13th is coming up very shortly i believe it is next friday or this friday i guess um so what two comics are considered the first horror comics to be produced in the United States. All right. So again, that is what two comic books are considered the grandfathers of horror comic books. And I will give you a hint that they came out in the 1940s since this is kind of a wide open question. There are two books that are considered the precursors to horror. So what will the prize be? Not Old Man Hawkeye. It will be Jason versus Leatherface number one. A hard to find book. Um, not in the greatest condition, but hey, fantastic cover and hard to find. So there you go. The question again What two books are considered to be the first horror books? Uh, and they came out in the 1940s. Please. Please send your answers to elk.prizes at gmail.com. Please include the answer, and please include your YouTube name. At this point, I know a lot of the people, but I don't know everybody. So that would be great if you could do that. Anyway, moving on to the next portion of our haul that is not a haul. Um, as I did earlier today in my live stream... Um, I added prizes to the prize pool for the St. Jude's fundraiser, um, link in the description. And those books were donated by Mark Little, a dealer in the Washington, D.C. area. Please contact me if you would like his contact information. He is phenomenal um, at finding books that you need. Um, he's got books of all different conditions. And uh, yeah, great guy, great guy. So I said in that video that I had a couple of books that I was going to add myself. And uh, here they are. So we have Elf Quest number one, signed by one of the creators, Richard Peeney. We have Superboy number 174. Uh, this is a Silver Age Superboy. We have Wonder Woman 200, signed by J.G. Jones. 
We have Moon Knight number 59, the S. Platt, Stephen Platt cover. We have G.I. Joe 21, the J. Scott Campbell variant cover, and it is a play on the silent issue. We have Strange Tales, number 162, Silver Age Strange Tales. Uh, we have Strange Tales, number 160. This is the first Silver Age appearance of Jimmy Woo. And we have two series, sorry, Strange Tales 161. And this is a Storenko cover. So there you go. Please, please, donate your time. Donate your money. Donate your emails. Donate your videos. All of it. Let's help the kids out. Um, again, the link is going to be in the description. And remember, you get one entry for every dollar you donate, up to $20. You can get five entries by making a video that links to my original St. Jude's video as well as the St. Jude's uh, fundraiser link. And you can also get five entries by sending out an email to at least five of your friends, and please include me on that email, um, asking them to donate to this worthwhile cause. Anyway, thank you, and I will be back in a minute with all. Have a good one. See you in some seconds. Hi, everybody. I am back, and it is time to start the haul. Um, unlike normally, we are going to start with something a little bit different. So, here you see page 10 from the Joker's Apprentice that was uh, done by... Uh, the artist was Travis Von, Trevor Von Eating and... Uh, inked by Joseph Rubenstein and will you say well why do I have this well I have this because I picked up the original art for this page um, one of my buddies who is a collector of original art had this um, gave it to me for a good price um, I picked it up because it was a Batman book and because it has Joker in a couple of spots. And it's kind of hard to see because it's tall. But uh, yeah, super, uh, super thrilled to have my first piece of original, original art. All right, so let's start with the haul. We're going to go ahead and start with indie titles. I'll be back in a moment. Dog barking alert. All right, let's give this another go. Time for some indie books. So here we have uh, Skyward number one. This is the premiere issue. It has already been optioned to be either a movie or a TV show. I've shown this a couple of times with a couple of these issues. When I see them for cover price, I usually pick them up. Uh, there we have G.I. Joe, A Real American Hero, number 21, the J. Scott Campbell cover. And you may ask, didn't I just see this as part of the giveaway? And you are right. I picked this up for $6, and when I opened the bag, I realized there were two copies of it. So, yeah, pretty crazy. I picked up the Michael Turner variant cover for G.I. Joe number 33. Just really like it. There is a Graham Cracker exclusive. I think two. One with like just a foil G.I. Joe and one with an entire foil cover. They are much, much more expensive than this one. Uh, went ahead and picked up Afterburn number one. It's a Garth. Uh, well, it's not a Garth Ennis book. Um, but it's been optioned for a movie with Gerard Butler playing the lead. Um, against my better judgment, I picked up um, the Monera um, variant cover for Unnatural. I don't really know what to think about that. All right. uh, I picked up Spawn 287, the Matina variant cover. Also picked up the Jason Sean Alexander variant cover for 287. Picked up a couple of uh, Spawn newsstands. Uh, so this is number 12, it's the first appearance of Jason Wynn. Um, number 16, the first appearance of Anti-Spawn as a cameo. 
And number 17, the first uh, full appearance of Anti-Spawn. And again, these are all newsstands. I uh, picked up the Walking Dead uh, Bill Sankovich cover uh, for 181 I I have walk, tons of copies of Walking Dead 100. I also have a couple copies, I think, of the third printing. For some reason, I never picked up the second print. Went ahead and found this for a good price, so I picked it up. Um, picked up the gold variant of Exo Mana War uh, one half from Wizard. Um, the non gold variants got purple here. Um, it is less than 2,500 of these exist. I picked up Shadow Man number two, the good, the bad, and the very ugly variant cover. It's one in five and was a retailer incentive. Super, 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 super rare. Um, as you know, I've been all about the Cyber Frog. I uh, picked up Vortex number five. It has a Cyber Frog pinup in it, and this book came out before the Hall of Heroes Cyber Frog number one. Moving on to Marvel books. Let's see what we've got here. Um, showed the second printing of Champions number 20 last week. I uh, found the first printing for uh, um, cover, so I picked it up. It's the uh, first cameo appearance of Snowblind, or really the second um, cameo appearance. I think the first one was in 19. Um, picked up a second copy of X-Men Gold number 30. This was the bagged variant by J. Scott Campbell. Um, I, so I have a bagged one, and I have one that I opened. Um, picked up two copies of the... Carrie Andrews design variant. It's one in ten um, for the death of the Inhumans. This is the first appearance of Vox. Um, this is just an awesome cover. Vox looks super awesome, super cool. Um, yeah, I think got these for I think six or seven dollars a piece. So I feel like they're gonna they're gonna go up. I got Cosmic Ghost Rider number one, um, the Stephanie Hans variant cover. It's one in twenty five. Honestly, don't think it's that great. And not super interested in the Cosmic Ghost Rider, but um, Stephanie Hans is super hot right now. Um, so went ahead and might be Han. Went ahead and picked it up. I uh, picked up the Adam Hughes Captain America to the trade dress. I'm not gonna. I think the I saw in one store that I was at they had the the Virgin variant and they want to pay like four hundred dollars for it. No, thank you. No, thank you. I uh, picked up the David Mack uh, 1 in 25 variant cover. Actually, this is probably um, my favorite uh, Captain America number one cover. Thought it was uh, pretty awesome. So couldn't pass that one up. Uh, got an old issue of New Warriors. Uh, this is the first appearance of Microbe. I can't remember where I read that. I should pick this up. Probably CBSI, so that's comicbookinvest.com. I uh, picked up the Mighty Thor number 412. It's the first full team appearance of the New Warriors. Picked up the West Coast Avengers 46. It's the first appearance of the Great Lakes Avengers. And this is me just adding things um, that I did not own to get the shipping down. Uh, went ahead and picked up Battle Scars number 6. This is the first appearance of Phil Coulson. And more importantly, this is a newsstand edition. And uh, I mean, <laughs> this is beyond rare. Um, the actual just battle scars is, is fairly common, but um, the newsstand is, like I said, beyond rare. I uh, picked up Gargoyles number, is that number 10? Number 11. You would think I, I should know. a Number 11, sorry. Uh, this is the final issue. Um, super hard to find. Uh, this book sells for a good bit. I picked up the Michael Turner Iron Spider variant cover for Civil War number three. Been on a bit of a Michael Turner kick lately. Um, you know, his work is just it's phenomenal and super underrated at this point, um, especially for someone who's not making any new art. Um, so there you go. Uh, as you all probably know, I've been slowly but surely picking up all of the 2012 Venomized variants. This is actually the most common one. Uh, it is the Greg Horn variant cover um, for Uncanny X-Men number 5, and it is a 1 in 50. Moving on to everybody's favorite DC. Uh, so, yeah, I... 
think I mentioned this, but I don't know at this point. Uh, I went to Walmart, or well, several Walmarts, unfortunately, and was able to pick up three of the four giant um, books that are Walmart exclusive. And of course, the one I didn't pick, couldn't pick up, couldn't find was the Teen Titans one. So, uh, got Justice League, Superman, and Batman. I uh, also picked up the Ben Oliver, Oliver variant cover uh, for Nightwing 46. This is definitely one of the better covers that's come out this year. Um, definitely recommend getting it if you see it for cheap. Um, got the Art Germ variant cover and the first appearance of Reina Creel. Uh, for Catwoman number one. This is also a fantastic cover. Got the Matina cover for Deathstroke 33. Um, I got the Jim Lee cover for Batman 50. And I got Justice League number one, signed by Scott Snyder. Midtown Comics, got the other Justice League number one, Scott Snyder again, Midtown, picked up two copies of Teen Titans Special, the first appearance of Crush, I believe it's a cameo appearance, picked up Supergirl number three, I recommend picking this one up, this is the Michael Turner cover, there's two of them, this is the also the first appearance of Dark Supergirl, and as you can see here, um, Lex Luthor in his power suit. One of the first toys I ever had was the DC um, Superpowers. And uh, was this one. And it's oh, it's so awesome. Uh, I picked up Wonder Woman 97. This is the second copy of, of this one. But the first that I have is the DC Universe logo. So that's cool. Brian Boland cover. Um, picked up two Rudolph the Red-Nosed Rainer Christmas issues put out by DC. Um, as you all know, like the Christmas issues. Uh, I picked this up yesterday on Sunday. This is Superboy number 76, and it is the first appearance of Beppo the Super Monkey. Uh, I like to get the first appearances of the Super Pets. Um, I think they're kind of silly, um, and they're, you know, fairly cheap for, you know, first appearances. And to finish it off for this week, I got the Jim Lee 1 and 100 variant cover for batman 50 and i was able to get this fairly cheap um as it's been you know discussed ad nauseum um people were disappointed about how this ended and therefore it suppressed the prices of the variants the ratio variants and the store variants um and made what was normally a probably going to be a hundred to 115 dollar book um significantly cheaper so yeah, that is all I have for today. Please donate your time, money, or I guess good thoughts and prayers uh, to the kids at St. Jude's. And uh, yeah, thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and thanks for spending a little bit of your day with me. Have a good one. Goodbye.